Here is this lovely bag. Okay. Great. Cool. Awesome. I will uh, just pick one at random. Okay, great. By the way, where can we purchase this bag? Is this... Uh, my website, okay, 1999. <laughs> just kidding, it's my wife's makeup bag. Um, cool, this is from uh, Andre Savchenko. I'm okay. sorry. I'm Hi. sorry, I know I butchered your, your name, Hi, uh, but I appreciate it, your question. Hi. Hi, what was the biggest obstacle on your way in the whole process, and how were you able to get through it? Thank you, Andy. Okay, oh, so nice. Hi, Andy. it says Andre up here. Oh, it might be a typo. Okay, so it's Andy, Andy. Savchenko. Okay. Thank you for your question. Yeah, hi, um, Andy. Thank you. What's the biggest obstacle on my way uh, in the whole process, and how were you able to get through it? Um, surprisingly, I think like the at least for me in, in my in my feature film, I think the biggest obstacle was really just fear. Yeah, um, and you know that's a it's a very like uh, that might sound like a cop out answer, but it's it's really not. I think the the hardest part is like trusting yourself throughout the madness of everything that's going on. Um, like the one of the biggest fears I had was just like trying to come up with the money for it, because that was a really difficult process. Like we we did a Kickstarter campaign and we raised thirty five thousand dollars for it, uh, which um, was really I think I had a little bit of beginner's luck because when I look back at it now, I kind of can't believe that we did that. It's pretty wild, um, but like. I think the the hardest part it's it's really the fear and also uh, the patience it takes to sort of do one of these things because things are never going to move as fast as you want them to move. They're going to move about like one of the things I realized is like almost everything that I thought I was like yeah I should have that done in a month. Uh, I just started multiplying it by four, so it'd be like that should be done in a month and it would take four months oh, wow. because. Uh, because working at this level, because uh, my film is a micro-budget film, um, you know, uh, it's basically like, you know, th there's a there's like a that triangle, right? Like the good, fast, and cheap triangle. You can only have two of them. That is a real thing. That's totally a real thing. And so, if you don't have the money to do something, and you are having someone work on it, like, well, they're probably only going to work on it like when they have time to do so, and that means that you can get it good, but it's not gonna be fast. <laughs> uh, and so like, I, I noticed that cause like a, a lot of, like I think we, we did like really, really great work on my film and the people, uh, like all the different disciplines did a great job, but it just took a really long time. And I think that the, the patience can almost be enough to drive you mad. Um, like for instance, our, our, uh, our VFX guy, who's a brilliant VFX artist, and he works at like this big VFX house, was basically working on my film um, at nights every other weekend because he had stuff to do and he just had a brand new kid and things like that. So like that took a long time. You know, uh, my my dear friend who's a sound designer uh, did sound on my film, uh, but he was working on that throughout. All, all of his different jobs, so that was a super slow process. So uh, I think just being prepared with how, with the patience, like how long it's gonna take, um, you'd be surprised, like like waiting, waiting for something can drive you mad. Uh, especially if like, that is like your number one focus, which is, which is your feature or, or your project that you're working on, because it's only gonna be it's only gonna burn with that level of intensity to you, the creator. <laughs> it's not gonna burn with that same level of intensity to anybody else. And knowing that and embracing that can allow you to be cool with it. Um, and like I think earlier during the, the post-production process, like I didn't understand that. And that would, I would get angry and I would get like very impatient and I would, I would be confused like, why aren't they getting back to me? What's going on? Uh, uh, I can't take it, you know? And uh, which is just silly, you know, uh, because the reality is that like anything that's that is good takes time. You know, there's a I think the quotes from like Alice in Wonderland, but there are no shortcuts to places worth going. And that's a real thing, you know. Like uh, we live in a culture where we want things, we want it now, and we want things instantly. But when it comes to making something like like a feature or just any sort of long term project. It just takes time. It takes time for the thing to, to develop. It takes time for the thing to marinate. 
and uh, the patience and getting through the fear of it are the two biggest obstacles, I'd say.